Hey everyone, this is Alex Merson, Associate Editor with Residential Tech Today. I'm joined today by Walker Henshaw, CTO of Lumiere, the technology partner of Sterling Ranch, a smart community being developed just south of Denver, Colorado. How are you doing today, Walker? Doing great. How are you doing? Good. Um, so I think just to start off, I was wondering, uh, you know, we got the whole community laid out here. Yeah. I was wondering if you kind of give a brief, maybe just rundown of what's going on here at Sterling Ranch. Yeah, so Sterling Ranch uh, is a master plan community. It's going to eventually be about 12,000 homes mm -hmm. at build out, uh, and it's mixed use. So it'll be a combination of single family uh, condos, multifamily dwellings, as well as commercial. Okay. Uh, one of our real true focuses out here at Sterling Ranch is building a cutting edge, technologically advanced city, while also really playing up the components of nature that make this space and, and this land mm -hmm. so special and so great. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about, you know, the inception of the idea. Um, you know, why, uh, why choose this area specifically and, and you know, what, what are the goals of developing a smart community? You know, why, why start this project in the first place? Yeah, so this, this land, people have had their eye on actually developing it for, for quite a while, okay. since, since the 80s. And there were some hurdles to, to that development, one of them actually being water rights. Mm. And so one of the difficult things was how do we get water out to this community in a way that's sustainable uh, and will last for future generations? And so water sustainability has been a huge factor in actually being able to get this community mm. you know, over the hump and, and start developing it. Mm. Uh, we, we see this community as uh, a great place to allow people to come and uh, get that nature right at their doorstep. We're actually right next to two state parks, uh, okay. one of which is, is Chatfield, that we actually have trails uh, at Build Out running all the way into Chatfield State Park. Okay. And every single homeowner in Sterling Ranch is given a state parks pass oh, for wow. free by the community. Uh, and that's, that's a partnership with uh, the state of Colorado in order to be good stewards of of the natural resources and make sure that we're contributing to all the facilities that, that our mm -hmm. homeowners are going to be using and, and enjoying here in the future. Very cool. Um, and so what are maybe some of the unique, um, you know, really one of the focuses of this community is, you know, how can, you, how can you incorporate technology and make it a smart community? What are maybe some of the unique assets uh, or unique facets of that in the community? Uh, you know, maybe uh, you're, you're looking to move in. Um, what does that look like, uh, having technology integrated into the community like this? Yeah, so I really see our technology strategy in, in three components. Uh, the first is in-home technology experience for homeowners mm -hmm. as they move in. And for that, we've got our steward home automation system okay. uh, that will actually allow people to control their lights, um, oh, wow. you know, unlock lock their doors, control garage doors, um, TV audio. So that's our kind of in-home solution. Uh, we also see community infrastructure as a really big uh, need going forward. And mm. there's a lot of buzz about smart cities, smart mm. communities. And I kind of define that as uh, a community that can not only take information in, but then automate actions mm. based on that information. Mm -hmm. And so our real focus right now is laying the infrastructure down that'll enable that uh, smart city concept in the yeah. future. I think there's a lot of smart people out there saying a lot of different things about mm -hmm. where it'll end up and history just tells us a lot of those smart people are going to be wrong. Yeah. So I don't want to make a huge bet that this one thing is, is where we need to go. Yeah. Uh, so the way that we're kind of navigating that landscape is we've actually installed our own fiber optic network throughout the entire community. Oh, wow. Uh, and that fiber optic network delivers uh, gig internet speeds to every home, mm -hmm. but owning that network also gives us a ton of flexibility for the future yeah. so that we can connect devices uh, at the edge and actually bring that data back to a central command and control system that can process that data, make decisions based on that data, and then send out controls and uh, actually change functions based on, on that input hmm. that we're getting off our fiber network. Mm -hmm. um, one great example of that is actually our connected street lighting. Okay. So our street lighting actually has uh, RGB beacons on it. Okay. Uh, so they can change different colors. Oh. And so an example might be, you know, someone uh, calls 911, uh, they need help, you know, they're, they're hurt, and we can actually light up a path 
uh, to that person's oh, house. So okay. um, applications like that are yeah. still in the works. We don't know exactly how that'll play mm -hmm. out long term, but we've got the infrastructure there in place so that we can yeah. take advantage of it later on. Yeah, very cool. And so what does that look like? Uh, I'm specifically curious about you know, bringing together technology and nature. Uh, what does that look like in Sterling Ranch? Yeah, so in Sterling Ranch, we really want to be great stewards of our natural resources here. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we've done in the homes is really enable them with a lot of technology that's environmentally focused. Mm -hmm. So actually every home in Sterling Ranch comes with a ratio irrigation controller. Uh, Ratio is actually a Denver-based company, mm -hmm. uh, leading uh, controller out there for, for irrigation that actually senses local weather conditions mm -hmm. and can change its watering patterns based on projected soil conditions and moisture content uh, to really help uh, homeowners save a lot of water. Okay. Um, another thing that we're doing at Sterling Ranch is actually providing uh, homeowners feedback through the steward platform uh, so they actually have real-time insight into their utility usage. Okay. And so people are able to actually calibrate that usage and uh, that's a really big focus uh, when we start talking about our technology in the homes. Okay. Uh, so here we are exploring some of the tech that you might find inside of the homes at Sterling Ranch. Uh, and it's uh, correct that you've partnered with Siemens for a lot of this technology, correct? It is, yes. Yeah. Siemens has been a critical partner for us along the way. Uh, when we were first conceiving uh, of this concept, we felt like we needed a partner who had kind of been there and, and had some real experience in smart infrastructure. And S Siemens has just that experience that we were looking for. Uh, we brought them in to help us with both the community infrastructure, but also the development of the concept behind Steward, the home automation technology, and how we wanted to implement that uh, in the everyday lives of our homeowners. And so I was wondering yeah, if you could break down a little bit more of the capabilities of Steward. Um, and I said there's like a Steward Plus, and uh, I don't know if there's a difference between the two, or but yeah, if you could kind of break down uh, what Steward can do. Yeah, definitely. So uh, I really describe Steward as uh, home automation technology, uh, but it's really a little more than that. I, I think people have this general concept of the home automation technology as Wi-Fi connected devices, um, that they can control remotely. We've got all that in Steward. Uh, I think two critical components that Steward has that aren't really typical uh, of home automation software these days is real-time feedback about uh, utilities that you're using in your home, and then also a community events and announcements portal that kind of provides uh, a community feel to it so that people aren't just in their homes using their smart yeah. technology. It's hope enabling community to, to grow, form, and get people out of their uh, okay. little bubbles in the home. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so I know we're actually standing in front of, yeah. um, you know, the steward. I was wondering, yeah, maybe you kind of walk me through uh, you know how it works. You know, maybe you know, maybe pr pretend I'm I'm a I'm a I'm an interested home buyer. Yeah. Uh, and I want to learn more about uh, Steward. Yeah. So uh, this is our Steward panel. Uh, this goes in every single home. Uh, so you've got kind of a, a window into your home. Um, here we've got kind of four basic sections. We've got our uh, section that controls devices. We've got the security portion. We've got utility usage and we've got the community events and announcements. Mm -hmm. So up here up top, uh, we can do things like control lighting. So uh, if we go into the dining room, you can control those dining room lights. Okay. Uh, the nice thing about this system is not only does it work on this tablet, uh, there's also an iOS and Android app, so you can use it on your phone, you can use it remotely anywhere that you have a connection. Uh, and then it's also voice control enabled. So it works with uh, Alexa, Google Home, and, and some of the popular voice control features as well. And so there's really three ways to interact with it and whatever works for you uh, will, will work with the system. Uh, another thing in our utilities portal, you can actually see real-time usage. So you can see real-time usage for your gas, energy, and water. And that actually breaks down even further uh, into individual loads in your home. If you choose to add on certain things to the system, we can actually monitor individual loads in the home. Uh, and we're working on uh, a partnership right now that we're really excited about to provide community aggregated data to people so they can have comparisons between their, their usage and, and other similar uh, 
uh, properties uh, to really to really help people see you know how how much am I really using compared to the typical person instead of just seeing numbers on a on a screen and not really connecting that to true um, you know true visceral change. We also have the community events and announcements. Uh, right now, this system is just connected up to the Community Authority Board website. Uh, but out in the community, you'll actually see events and announcements scroll through here. And you can click into those. And when you click into those, it'll actually bring up the community event and announcements. And you'll be able to actually interact with things. So you'll be able to RSVP for events, uh, you know, potentially register uh, for a landscape design review, uh, things like that you'll all be able to do through your steward panel. Uh, not only here, but also on your phone. Um, and, and we really feel like that's going to ease interactions in the community and, and be a, a much more frictionless way to interact with some of these events and announcements. Very cool. Uh, well, I think it's about time we check out one of these homes. So uh, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right.